guys, this is Shannon with Shannon McTie Photography. I am excited to edit this image with you. This photo right here was taken in Colorado. It was taken about, I want to say about 30 minutes before sunset, but as you can see, we did have a storm coming in, which is giving it more of a moodier vibe. So I wanted to edit this photo a little bit more in a moodier way for you. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to skip around a little bit with this edit. You are able to start from like start to finish. That's how it's made. So you can click here and kind of work yourself down and you're more than welcome also to kind of jump around. It's whatever works for you and your photo. For this photo, I am going to jump around a little bit though. So I'm going to first go to exposure because this cloud came in fast. The storm was coming in really fast, so it was getting dark on me. So I'm going to go ahead and hit play. Then I'm going to flatten it. I tend to flatten after every action just so the action, sometimes if you play an action and then try to play another one, it won't work. So I flatten in between each. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is make my subjects pop out more. So I'm going to illuminate my subjects. Perfect. And then I'm going to flatten that. And then the next thing I want to do is I'm going to make my background pop out a little bit. So I'm going to do brilliant background for this one. And I love it. It made my grass, just for my liking, a little bit more like a deeper yellow, which I don't want. So I'm going to just erase it about like 50%, just a little bit off the grass. There. Perfect. And then I will flatten that. And then the next thing I want to do is I want to start cooling this image down a little bit. I'm going to play into the blues of the photo. So I'm going to go down to my artistic color grading. And I'm going to do Alpine Breeze and hit play. And I love this one quite a bit. I don't need it that blue on the mountains though. So I'm going to lower the opacity of it to about 45 to 50%. So right there. And then I'm going to flatten it. And then to give it more of a moodier vibe, let's go back down to our artistic color grading. This one is, it is one of my favorites. If you want to get more of a moodier look, Dusty Badlands is a great one. So I'm going to hit play on that. And that right there is going to bring my blues and really pull it over to gray, which is what I want. It's a bit dark for me. I don't need it quite this moody, at least just for my taste. So I'm going to lower the opacity of this right there so this is before and this is after and you can see it made a dramatic difference on the mountains and the grass and I also love that it made her white dress more of a true white then you can come back up here you can flatten and then I want to go ahead and brighten it a little bit I am going to brighten it this time with major lift. I feel like if you want to brighten your image, this is a softer way to do it than exposure, where exposure really can brighten those whites as well. This is just a really gentle way to lift the, basically the exposure of the image without affecting your whites too much, if that makes sense. So I'm going to hit play. I love that. The only thing is I am going to erase some of this off the white dress. You have to be careful anytime you're raising your exposure or brightening an image that wherever your brightest point is that that doesn't become overexposed. So I'm just erasing a little bit off her dress. Then I'll flatten it. And then the next thing I want to do is I'm going to come down here to focus light. And so you have a couple different ones that say focus. Basically what this does is it's going to put some sharpening and some contrast into the edges, but it's also going to, you, know, you can deepen it, it can brighten it, and it can just keep it pretty neutral. I'm going to do focus light, hit play. And I love that as is. I'm going to come back up and I will flatten this. I'm going to leave this just at 100%. The next thing I want to do is I'm going to come back down here. I'm going to do the soft feather boa, the satiny clean. I like the way that this gives like a nice creamy effect to the photo. I do tend to erase it off my subjects though. 
I love that. I'm gonna pull this up to about 60, 65%, bigger brush, and just erase it right off my subjects. And I may even go over one more time on their face. I just don't want them too soft. Perfect. And then I will go back up and flatten this. Perfect. And then the next thing I want to do is I do want to do the type of dodging and burning that I do on all my photos. I'm going to do darken then dodge. Hit OK. And continue. So immediately it makes the image really rich and really dark, but I'm able to see my highlights easier this way. And typically when I'm dodging and burning, I will keep my opacity between 35 and 45%. For this image though, I've done it before, I've edited it, and I know that it, I need it a little bit, I need to erase more than just 45%, and that's just because I've already played around on it. So I'm actually gonna keep it at 60. And I'm gonna erase it off their faces. And if I do their faces, I do their necks basically anywhere where the highlights are or where I want my viewer's eyes to go. Arm. Go up the highlights of his arm right here and down his shirt. The creases of the dress and the highlights on her leg. Now that I dodge and burn them, I'm going to get a bigger brush. Oop, too big. And I'm going to go a little bit on the top of the mountains here, and that's just to give it a hazy effect. And then right alongside of them, because I feel like it's getting a bit dark. Because even though I'm going to lower my opacity, if it's any, if my blacks are clipping at all, then I know I'm going to need to erase it off of that just so it's not too dark in the photo. And then I come over here, you can see your brushwork right here. And I'm grab my opacity, I'm gonna pull it down to zero. And I am gonna pull it up, pull it up to about 40, about right there. And then I'm gonna flatten that. And then the next thing I wanna play is we're gonna go down to here. And we're gonna do, I'm still standing. And I'm not gonna do it 100%, I'm gonna, I'm just using it to bring a little bit of warm color to it. I'm gonna do it at about, I think 25 to 30%, about right there. And then I'm gonna flatten. And then the next one I wanna do is under minimalistic color pops and faded denim. I love this if you wanna get like a little bit of like, almost like a bluish matte kinda. I love this one. So I'm gonna hit play. But again, I don't need this at 100%. I, I didn't want my mountains to be blue. I really do want them more on the gray side. I just wanted a little bit. So I'm going to drop this down to about 35%. And then at 45%, I'm gonna erase it off my subjects. and a little bit off my sky. Perfect. And then I'm going to flatten that. And then the next thing I wanna do is I'm gonna come back down here, one of the other ones that I love and I use quite a bit, it's these tilt shifts. So they tell you tilt shift portrait or landscape and obviously that's the type of photo that you have, this is a landscape, but be creative with it. I'll be honest, on this photo, the portrait version one looks the best, so I'm gonna hit play and continue. And then I'm just gonna lower the opacity of it to about 40%. So I like that this is before, this is after. I like the little bit of the hazy look it gives. And then I'm gonna flatten it. Perfect. And then the next thing I wanna do is put a little matte on the photo. 
And so I'm going to put a sunny mat on it. And that's what helps me get the, the mountains back to gray some. And then at about 40-50%, I'm just going to erase it off my subjects. And I don't need it at 100%. Let's see. I'm going to pull it down. I think I like it right there, actually. Oh, maybe a little more. That's before. That's after. You can see the warm mat that the entire photo has. Come back up. And I will flatten. And then after that, I want them to pop out a little bit. So I'm going to do my highlight pop and hit play. And that's going to make them almost like give a shiny effect to the photo, really make them stand out. And I'll flatten that. The next thing I want to do is I want to play into the moodier vibe. I am going to add a little bit of green. So I'm going to come right here and this one, I love this one because it also lightens the photo a tiny bit and adds green. This is my favorite one of all the greens. I love them all, but this one I use the most. I'm going to hit play, hit continue, and you can see that soft light green. And again, this is just personal preference, but you can leave it as is. You can erase some of it, which is what I typically do. I'll erase like 50% off my subject. And then I'm just going to lower my opacity down to like 40 to 50%. Just so it's in there, it's on the photo, but I don't want to lose a bunch of my details. And then I flatten. And then I want her to stand out more too. So I'm going to come back down here and... Highlight pop obviously makes the highlight stand out. Shadows are going to make your shadow stand out. And then combo does both of them. So I'm going to play shadow pop, which you're probably like wondering why I didn't just do combo pop. But I'm going to do shadow pop because I want to invert it and just paint it on one spot. So command I will invert it. I'll get a white brush and I just want to at 50% paint it on her. And that's to make her stand out more. And so that's before and after. It's subtle, but if you look at like her jawline, her hair, and her clothes, you can see it. And then I'm going to flatten. And then usually towards the end, I adjust any colors that are kind of popping out at me. So we're going to obliterate the oranges. Hit play. I'll get a small brush. I'll bring this up to like... Probably 60, and I'm going to pull it off of his face a little bit, his arm, anywhere I feel like is a little too orange. I'm just kind of tapping it on the spots. There we go. And then I'm going to flatten. And then the last thing I want to do is actually towards the top, it's... There it is. It's called dark. It's going to be a bit extreme. I don't need it at 100%. It's only extreme because it's towards the end of the editing. But I'm going to put it at about 20 to 30%. And that is before and that's after. And it just overall makes the image pop out a little bit more for my liking. And then I am going to come nope, right here and hit flatten. Perfect. And then I would look at this and call it done. Definitely has more of a moodier tone, kind of cooler tones. So let's go up and look at it. So this is before. And this is after. Before. After. I hope you guys enjoyed it and learned a lot. Thank you so much. For more information, please visit www.greaterthangodspeed.com.